we are playing this Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Okay, I look what they did there. It's like a whole bunch of screens. Show the computer screen. Show the computer screen. Okay, I didn't begin the game. Mm, credits. Boy, do I care? What's up? Okay, thanks. Just kidding. Crows, my crows, crows. One day. Davey Redden. And... Kevin Bright. Mm -hmm. yeah. and this is the story of a man named Stanley. Okay. Make sure it goes to the next Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. The employee number 427's mm -hmm. job was simple. He sat at his game. desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a oh monitor. My God, that posture game. Tell me right. what buttons I'm not to like push, how long to push them, <laughs> and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. I'm so sorry. Although others might have right. considered right. it so boring, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Not. Don't lie to yourself. Oh, my Stanley. And then one day, something Standards. very peculiar happened. Something oh. that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Okay. Something was very clear. You're getting paid to just sit there, Stanley. Shot, frozen solid, Stanley found himself <laughs> unable to move here. for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out oh. of his office. Yeah. Also, this little guys know he's playing first and I might take over later. Yeah. Since you already right. know what's gonna happen at first. Probably after every single um once we get an ending we need to switch off back to four. Yeah. That's fine. Alright. Okay. Okay. Number four twenty seven. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the no. meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, you know good well no one's here. No, oh, okay. can I just like go back in my room? <laughs> okay, it's locked for some reason. Alright. <laughs> Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make, no matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. There's another computer, huh? Maybe that opened one of the rooms. I don't know how different this, doesn't it have like a door the other way? You just go up there? Yeah. Alright. Oh, no. <laughs> We're just locked in here now. Alright. Let me just listen to for the first time around. Alright, is this a meeting room? No. Is this an open door here? Yes, it is. Oh. Um, I already know I'm about to get lost. Yeah, I don't like. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, narrator. This guy got a whole room to himself. Right, like, why are you so isolated? So nothing to open. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, <laughs> Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, oh, hoping he might find an answer there. Who just who just clicked the screen? Like him? Um... How to solve a dispute with a coworker? Let a ball you let it ball up inside you. Take. They said we don't want you to know. <laughs> dang, they, <laughs> they said Victoria's Secret. Very much getting locked <laughs> and kept. I'm like dang. Um. Okay. All right. Everyone is unique. You most, most of all. all. But everyone can't be the most unique. Exactly. Like... <laughs> okay. Number of slides on this. Charts, slides, charts, and slides. <laughs> yep. Yes. Thank you. Oh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. 
All right, all right. Let's go back in there. Is there something there? Mm. Oh. oh, I it, guess. Yeah, you notice that there's nothing in here. Then why did there I get the in closet? Here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Okay, well, I like it in here. It was baffling that Stanley was still <laughs> just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. Oh. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be we'll justified in some way. As it is, he's anything. literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Sweet F.A. Hey, what is that? Oh, what the? That's that like British slang. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Mm -hmm. Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Because I want to. Hey, you pressing me for what? Like, I'm scared. <laughs> like, obviously no there's here. a serial killer on the loose or something. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least she would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. What is important I never to would me? have thought to mention it. Like, I remember my old job, I had to like mop the floor. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Yeah. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Ow! Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> that would have been The broom closet <laughs> ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Oh! He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's the how stupid he is. Dragged. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. I'm gonna leave now. I think you're projecting. Like, it's cute. I'm gonna leave the closet. Um... The way... He didn't have to do all that. Like, Stanley is very much in his feelings. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. The boss's office is up, I'm assuming. Okay, I'm just gonna listen to you now. I'm sorry, I'll never do that again. Is that what the boss says goes? If the bosses suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Can I pee? Oh. This is so far away. Stanley, where's your where's your reflection at? <laughs> Alright. Let's see what this is. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two eight four five but of course stanley couldn't possibly have known this i want to find it for myself but i can't really? but all right thank you narrator stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs trying to input like, anything on the know, device was useless switch, since he could way, never possibly uh, know that the combination was two eight four five Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Why is there a whole chamber down here? What do you got going on? I didn't walk in yet. Um. All the recording is. Yeah, why is it so dark? Oh, the lights, the lights I guess, went... Oh, yeah, the lights went off for some reason. Oh, the way, the way, the way. It's so dark for no reason. I think it's supposed to be like that. Yeah, I mean, I'll just keep going. I go here. Okay, there we go. So what do you 
you think so far? Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Thank you. But I know you're not getting paid that much. Like this ain't scary. Stanley, you go. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh. I'm leaving. Huh? <laughs> I think we gotta break the narrator's rules because you're not gonna get me. You're I'm not. very much pausing. You're saying, if you saw, okay, you're, let's pretend you're Stanley. You're going through this whole underground tunnel. You see a bloody sign screaming escape with blood smeared on the wall. And then it's a hallway that looks like that. With some with some fog on the floor and a dark abyss. You going through that? Yes. They pr the person probably escaped out of the microscope facility telling you how to get out. But they couldn't get it they couldn't get past far enough. Freaking drag back in. I'm leaving. So you wanna get my control? What if I'm break? What if I'm already mind controlled? I'm trying to break the cycle by going into the mind control facility. Like you sound <laughs> nuts, <laughs> sound crazy. Like, <laughs> well, okay, I'll let you choose this one. Do you want to listen over? Oh, God. oh God. I already know he gonna be talking crazy. Let's go to the mind control. <laughs> Once I just leave back in the other way, either, like, either way. Like All right. I'm gonna click it. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Like aliens, like aliens and robots are the only thing that could freaking build and control all this crap. Like, who drinking this stale? Co is it the paper? This I hate Mondays. Oh my god! Oh. I wish I could see yeah, it. Oh, oh, I got right. Okay, she grabs. Okay, I'll give a little bag. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, all right. Let me just click the camera. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. 234. Yeah. Oh, that one's fire. Oh. Hmm. I want to see one more time. 104, 234, and I don't know what number that one is. At the end. Yeah, in the middle right there. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Oh. That's actually really scary. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, 
Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. By doing... By we're... Uh, we're just going to explain why we're here by ourselves. Well, I guess just go for the power. Even though it's already disabled, so I don't know why I'm turning off the... Backwards this. Oh. I see there's a num... Now, I can be smart and try to find the rest of the numbers. But that's not fun. So I'm going to keep it on three. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. So... I mean... Would I be in control of the mind control if I were to turn it on? I'll just turn it on. And so, what did you think of the game? <laughs> oh, it's over. Um, I gotta see what happens first. This music and credits is over. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. <laughs> Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. I mean, this isn't really a door, but... Right. It's giving me a <laughs> screen, like movie theater. What if I don't go through the door? I guess we know where else to go. Probably just left off, probably. Yeah. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. He said that before when he was stuck in the office job. Like... I don't think he know what happiness is. <laughs> Stanley, stand up. Oh, say I told you, we beat the game. So that was it. That's what I was writing and raving about. Yeah, you know. Oh, oh. Oh. Because the key pads were missing. Uh -huh. Well, it didn't say it was the end. I mean, you might as well already. Get started. Yes. Go along. I think controls. Uh, you can crash with the one of the L buttons. <laughs> the right All of his co-workers were gone. What and could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Well, I'm not doing this again. Where's the sprint option? We want to slow. <laughs> the meeting room, all the way in the depths of the office, like. Oh, 
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Mm. No. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, <laughs> and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Okay, Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No. Can I go back out? Oh. I mean, you probably can. Oh. Nope. Nope. Never ever said keep going. I take the employee lounge. This was locked. How about you organize this whole facility? Like, why all these cases and boxes outside in the hallway? <laughs> ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. Mm. It had really been worth the detour after all, really. just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Drinking it all in. Who's, what saying is that? Right. Trying to be a translator yeah. so bad. But it's Bruce Lane. Yes. Really, really worth it being Well, here. at least... <laughs> our schools all your co-workers are but eager to get back to business Rangers. girl if you do stop stop <laughs> picking this mic anyways <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this man just said I really do not know but go to the next open door I mean, exactly I'm letting the whole open door just sitting there waiting for you mm, but there's two Go in this one. Stanley was so bad at following oh. directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Because I got what it takes to do the job. What did. Oh what is this? I'm just getting jealous. Okay. Warning. Do not jump from the cargo lift. Well, it's in motion. Like, who's doing that in the first place? They probably had to put a warning. You never know. It's giving. <laughs> what kind of place are you going to be running? It's giving lawsuit. Um. It's common sense. Why are you jumping off a whole cargo lift? It's just a little reminder it doesn't hurt to be careful. Oh, I need a key card for this. Okay. I think if you go on it, it just starts yeah. moving. Out. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that he's never been his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. You are. Oh. I'm sure if I escape, I don't want to be here anymore. That was the... Fine, I'll follow his direction. Go back to the same spot. All of his co-workers were gone. Okay, we know. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. See, Perhaps he had sent to the narrator. He's your friend. Mm, no. You can't ever trust British Stanley people. Came to a set of <laughs> He's British. Doors. I don't this trust him. Yeah, this would be a whole American meeting. man doing and a whole Stanley accident anyways. Well, then why is he Perhaps trying to see he wanted to like stop that? by the employee lounge first, uh -huh. just to admire it. Wow, yes, nope. this room. What about door. eager to get back to business? Yes. Stanley <laughs> okay, tell first you open door on his left. Oh, that's what he said, first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't <laughs> five years ago. <laughs> not you two back in the narrator. <laughs> All right. We're gonna not jump off this time. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm <laughs> I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, oh, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Mm. I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. For her. It's her. Um, I gotta put me first. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Oh, cool. Stan, like, look at what you've been doing. She's been waiting for you. Okay, you've been doing her she dirty. to wait. <laughs> 
give me some of that going this dark pitch black yeah, room. She's waiting for you. Who is she? Like, let him be blinded by. Oh. That's her, Stanley. The the you need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another. Oh, no, no, no. no I didn't think that was actually going to work. Did you just unplug the phone? Now, that <laughs> wasn't you. supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? Oh. You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not happen? picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> Now is that a real person? I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored no, even the, the most basic safety protocol okay, for British real yelling. decision making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a really moment. Really dragged me so away. Just thinking, properly like on safe decision most. making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part it's of being here. a real person. <laughs> but being used incorrectly can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical okay, real person you. named Rupert <laughs> has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Not quite or he chance. could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself uh -huh. speaking with a person who does not make sense, right. in all likelihood, that person Please is not real. Me. Allow the person to finish their thought then provide an excuse for <laughs> yeah, continue no, talking. Right. Return to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Huh? Who? And not, not the... Get me out of here. Oh, not the horror game aspect. Huh? Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, I mean, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Not but not to worry. Pushing. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Not hiding on the freaking track there. Guess I'll go. Now that we know your choices are what? meaningful, they made it so you can't jump off. off the platform and die. Wow. Imagine the go, character go. dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. I don't even know where we're going. They didn't even say nothing. Oh, wait, just Did it just... Oh, is that where the door's open? Door open? Oh, the... I guess that oh. was open in front of you. Let me get to the steps first, then we're open the doors. 
I mean, you want to talk to a narrator? Baby, talk to me. Like, you just let me walk around aimlessly right now. How come these don't have numbers on it? I don't know, maybe those are one of the fire doors, who knows? Wasn't it the same time earlier? So like I really don't remember looking at the time. Also, not the red taker resetting when you look the way I think, right? Mm. Watch I don't know, I might just be going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. I mean, there's no other way I can go, because it's already the right door, so I mean... Yeah, I'm like, he's Now remember, there. all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Anyways. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll Let be fine. Out. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Sure, I, <laughs> I go in. Hey, this is your place. This is your right there. Do you, you want to go to the right? I don't know. You're already in this deep. I'll listen for once. I think I can close the door. <gasps> Did I just cheat? What if I just lock both doors? I'm scared it's gonna well, actually... the game out. Should I try to close this door? <laughs> just... I mean... <laughs> If you really want to, however, I do not know if that's an ending. I'm scared. I feel like the game's just gonna mess up. If they don't mess up, we'll just have to reset and just do all this over again. Let's go through this door. Alright. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, you didn't close it. No! Why did you oh, do God. that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Is the door open? <laughs> well, open the door! <laughs> Narrator, you see his lock? I can't go back. It's too late. The That's too deep. <laughs> the damage is done. Um. Well. Well. Um. Hi, narrator. <laughs> so, is this? Uh, um. Okay, maybe yeah. we are causing a bit of problems. Um, is the door? Oh, I was like, I thought it was a doorway that way. The door not closing this time. But the numbers, okay. How do I get out? Do we really just crash? Did I just mess the game? Uh -oh, well, it shouldn't matter really because the doors. I still went through the right door. I'm gonna just start over. We'll try to go back to the um. Back door. I think it's locked like the other oh. doors. Yeah. This is supposed to happen. Um They probably didn't think about people swerving. I literally <laughs> I swear to god I did not think that was gonna be like a possibility. Okay, so we're gonna just restart this because yeah. I just like glitched the whole game out. Okay, yeah, just exit. Like we'll be right back. So, how's it feel to break the game? It feels good. But you didn't see that one coming, developers. Yeah, because I said, look at you, now we said it. You're like, what, are we, what did we not see coming? Now, remember, nope. all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That right. means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Mm, I guess. Now 
Now you don't want to say nothing, like, what? Now I followed your direction, now you quiet. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up oh, to his yeah, boss's office, back on track. hoping he might find an answer there. I told you she went to the right door first, but simply didn't listen. Coming to a staircase, you can't even go down. Upstairs to his boss's office. Mm -hmm. I'm, they, well, exactly. Now you're his puppet. Now you're just following whatever he wanted to do. You happy with that? Mm -mm. The room being great. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He okay. drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Okay, Stanley. Oh. Stanley. Uh, shark 115. Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He what spoke it do? into the receiver right there on the wall. I'm already here. Night Shark 115? Do we actually say that? Do we actually say it? I'm sorry, is there a problem? You um, yeah. Me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Sir, you see me trying. Not clicking A on the wall. <laughs> okay, fine. You're not gonna do it. Do you but you me? know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... Oh. ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a Is set of two you? open doors, he entered the door on his left. Well, I just tried to, and now look what happened. All right, go on the right one. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Oh, Perhaps we're not too late. It just reset back to this one. Now. It's not even back to the beginning of the game. Yeah. Go that way anyway, so this is your yeah. Um, uh, that's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you my story, you've destroyed my work. Why, for what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone, left here like so much garbage? <laughs> it's it's worth, it's you worth still want to talk, like, what am I supposed to do? Are you my employer? If were a way to continue, would it be worth it? You can't pay overtime, dude. Like, incorrect. You can have that I go back promotion. to that. I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? The boss says it's okay. okay. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have oh. to. I... I have to. I'm still in the game hey, Let me... Oh! That... that actually... Sir, let me out! No. <laughs> that actually scared me. Oh, no. I don't know what I'm getting flown through space? What is this? thought you were so clever. You shut down the game, right? My entire game is I destroyed. I didn't actually do all that. 
It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. What? Yeah, occasionally that would be hard. Is. <laughs> you just had to see. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh. It's a crazy story. If you had the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make. Oh. I'm dying. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, in the he to the door on his left. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Stanley, what are you going to do? To the right. Hello? Are you around? Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I, I need you to make a choice. Oh. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening oh. to me? Can you hear me? Is oh. All right? Stanley. Stanley, this is important. Oh. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. All right, so I guess we beat the game. Okay. What happens here is just fine. They're both correct. You can't be wrong here. We can you, you've transcended. <laughs> Do you not see yourself? Why are Step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Now the narrator looking crazy. This is my voice. Switch up and try to talk soft to me. Like, I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. Why did I feel bad for the narrator now? I could wait. Decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Stanley, not the. Why are you sounding like the emoji? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I was like, uh, so what was... <laughs> Are we gonna reset from that? I'm assuming. Yeah, we're back. Okay. okay. Let's... Wait, I let's... hate Mondays. Get, Get your corny self. <laughs> I, I should, should make you jump, jump off that ledge again. again. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was so corny. <laughs> Let this man live. Anyways, what was I calling it there? Yeah. Okay. So that was Stanley Parable 2. I actually enjoyed the game. Then we only got, what, two up or two endings? Mm -hmm. So. I mean, three if you want to count crashing the freaking entire yeah, game. Crashing the game and not be able to do anything else. But yeah, it was really nice to revisit this game, especially watching on YouTube forever ago. I kind of grew up with that. It dominated YouTube forever ago so glad to see they made a second one i really didn't think they were going to make a second one but yeah it's been fun so far i think a couple of these endings were the same so i don't know what's different with this one so far but i don't know we'll see but um yeah i don't know um, also well we'll see what other endings we get when we play this again which I think we will be playing this again because I actually don't. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay, well, I should even never walk exactly. forward. Decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he really missed a memo. We're trying to end the video. Right. Hush. Um. But yeah, that was Stanley Parable too, and um, yeah, we'll see you guys whenever. Not whenever. We're gonna see you in the next video. Yeah. All right. All right. Bye. 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 My back going crazy. Oh my. Uh. <laughs>